Well, it's a special tribute to large to be seen in its entirety. Panels of the AIDS Memorial Quilt are now on display in Philadelphia. As our Victoria Whittle shows us, they're a moving reminder of lives lost and a fight that continues. This is the way folks come together. This is the way that people deal with enormous grief and bring something beautiful out of it. In the Mark Siegel Ballroom of the William Way LGBT Community Center, ornate handmade panels are hanging from the ceiling and some lay stretched on the ground. They are all part of the largest ongoing community folk art project in the world, the AIDS Memorial Quilt. And these panels will soon be on display in Northeast Philadelphia for the first time at the Taconi Free Library in a free event this Friday. We want to celebrate public art. We want to bring public art to, to our neighborhood. And we certainly have folks who have been affected. Each panel measures three by six, the average size of a human grave. And each one represents a person who has died of AIDS. The panels are made by friends and family. No two panels really are alike. Unfortunately, it can never be viewed again in its entirety because there's no place large enough to hold it. But even these few panels can't help but overwhelm you with the weight this epidemic has caused in our country through the years and the different races, genders, occupations, and ages of people it affects. When you think of each of these grave sized panels as a human being and you look at the birth and death dates and you see how young and vibrant the folks who are memorialized here were. There's no way not to feel that. Making this quilt display of 14 panels in Taconi on Friday, a powerful tribute, but also a powerful tool to keep talking and get tested. We have all the tools we need to get to zero, zero stigma, zero new infections and zero deaths, but we have to have the will to do it. Victoria Woodall, CBS3 Eyewitness News.